Hi, it's Mitch from PickDogs.com here with your free pick in the Rockies versus Red Sox Major League Baseball matchup on Tuesday, July 23rd, 2024. If you like all the free picks we do at Pick Dogs, you'll love our premium picks, our best bets. Use the discount code PICK for 15% off. We also have products meant for people that make bigger bets, people with big bankrolls looking for VIP concierge style service. We offer these products. They're just not available on the website. They're easy to get. You just got to text the number that you see on the screen. Of course, uh, these are not a free pick line or free trial. This is you know, our highest end premium product. We have our regular premium picks on the website, as well as free picks like you're watching now, as well as free picks on the website as well. But anyways, let's get to this one. It's the Rockies taking on the Red Sox, and the Rockies at this point pretty much done for the season. The Red Sox competing for at least a wild card spot in the American League. They've been playing, you know, one of the teams that's really kind of exceeded expectations this year. They're sitting in third place in the American League East and actually just six and a half off the pace there. Um, so not out of it by any stretch of the imagination. But when you expand it out and look at the wild card race, you know, the Red Sox just a game out of it as far as the, uh, you know, statistics go and the, the average, the numbers go. But when you look at the loss column, they are dead even um, they're in the loss column, so they control their own destiny at this point, and they're just also a game back from the number two wild card spot. So, you know, certainly the Red Sox are very much in the mix, but you know they've been a team that just has done it without a real true number one starter this season, and you know that has been the way that they've been the last few years. I know Chris Sale was there before, prior to this season, but he was injured a lot, so they've had to move guys around. Remember, Nate Evaldi was there, and had to, you know they moved him out, so it's like. Just just a bunch of guys, patchwork kind of pitching staff, but they've gotten it done so far doing that. Be interesting to see at the trade deadline if they do become buyers because the current ownership and the current management has been kind of a do not spend money type of attitude. So it'll be interesting to see if they go out and try and get some high priced guys, which to me, you know, you had Mookie Betts, right? You're not going to do any better than that, you know? And it's like, uh, you know, some some moves, they're, just, they're always going to, you know, make you scratch your head. Meanwhile, for the Rockies, you know, pretty much a team that's done before it started. Herman Marquez gets the ball in this one. He's started one game so far this season, allowed five hits and three earned runs in just four innings of work. That was uh, against the New York Mets. It was in New York in, in that particular spot. Uh, he did give up a home run over that span as well. He lasted 70 pitches as he made his first start of the year. And, you know, for the most part throughout his career, outside last season, Marquez has been a workhorse who has gone big innings, you know, despite being a member of the Rockies where you have that, you know, built-in disadvantage of playing in Coors Field all the time. And, of course, it's a disadvantage to the opposing pitching staff as well. But it's a real disadvantage to the home pitching staff because they got to pitch half their games and their numbers, even if their team, you know, can hit against the other team their own numbers are never going to look all that good. The Rockies are pretty good in these interleague home games, going 7-2 and two in their last nine interleague home games. Look at the way these teams are hitting the baseball coming in, and the Red Sox are just clubbing right-handed pitching to the tune of 319, while the Rockies, 237 versus righties and 221 versus lefties over their last 10 games, while the Red Sox hitting lefties at just 214. Neither bullpen has done much with the Red Sox at 5.14 over their last 10 games, up from 3.79 for the season, and the Rockies... 6.23 bullpen ERA over their last 10. Just hasn't been pretty for either of these teams. And I just think that in this particular matchup, while I do like the over, and I know that the Rockies are tough at home and the Red Sox do not play well on the road against the National League West, a lot of things working against them. I think this might be a spot where the Red Sox slip and a win. I'm going to take the Red Sox, and that's going to be my free pick. Of course, while you're doing your picks, putting your bets in, be sure to use our free betting tools at sportschatplace.com. 100% free, and they'll help put you on the most favorable bets on the board today.